Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy on PS5. In the last video, we did a little bit of the side quests. We opened up some areas. Uh, we also got through uh, the restricted uh, area in the library and we found a memory of uh, those wizards from before, uh, back in the very beginning, I guess, bringing life to an area around Hogwarts. And then we got a, a vision of one of the students she was also a fifth year <coughs> who could see magic like we do so there's something about the fifth years that are very special and um we're still trying to figure all that stuff out so we also met natty and told her our situation with uh ranrock and uh victor rookwood and she says she's going to investigate and see if maybe we, there's a way that we can help take down his, I guess, his empire or something like that uh, from within. So we got to do a couple of um, of these missions, these side quests to wait until Professor Fig returns from London. So I think the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and do the Trials of Merlin. And apparently we have to help a stranger. So, oh, this is over here. Oh, this is really, really close by. Oh, crap, we're waiting. Mm, it seems we got a little side quest over there. What are no these, twins? Think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Oh, excuse me. We're nasty. Wait, what? More people? Oh, let's do this. Oh, the light go out of your eyes? Oh, bring it. What's up? The collection section of your field guide has been updated with a new enemy type. You may learn valuable insights on enemies such as their weakness to certain spells. Mm. Get wrecked. They wasn't ready for it. They were oh, not I ready. Matter. I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Okay, let's go ahead and light this. Incendio. Oh, wait, we can't light that on fire? Okay, never Protego. mind. Are you alright? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Uh, who's Priya? You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant potioner. Has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Okay, so we have transgender women and we have lesbians in Hogwarts. Awesome. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Cadogan, endlessly okay. about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? 
These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area, I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. So Merlin was a Slytherin. Interesting. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. All right, so we need to get Mallow Suite. I brought sweet. a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Okay. This trunk... Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have right, some. So we got mellow sweet leaves. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mellow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Um Wait, what? Oh, oh, this. Oh, there was one over there uh, at the goblin camp. My word, did you see that? The vines disappeared. And now do we have to light now? them on fire? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. It's I Merlin's beard. The flames make the pyre sink. Okay, so this is what I figured we had to use it for. What a day. I can hardly believe it. Do I have to use Revelio? I take it we can call that a success? We can. Indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall so... return to the safety of my notes and books. Yes. What is the point of this? Rebellion. So that's it? It doesn't really do anything but that? Huh. Okay, so we gotta find, do we have any more hogs? Uh, Mallow Sweet, I believe. All right, so let's go ahead and Hogwarts Valley. I was wondering if we can go back to where we fought those goblins, but I don't think we can, sadly. All right, so let's go ahead and check our quest. Attend the herbology class. Go to our map, Hogwarts. And we will, I guess, go here. That's the, I think that's the closest we have.
Oh, we're actually not that far, it looks like. Or maybe we are. Oh, yeah, no, we're not that far at all. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I feel like I'm about to meet po Poison Ivy. Okay, so there is a day and night cycle. I bet she smells lovely. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenore. Professor dear. Garlic, oh, nice. Yeah. I like that you name. Need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello, class. Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. I we like her. Look forward to growing together. Is she just handing How garlic to everybody? To have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bone. Now then, Today, we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Oh, that's right, because they scream, right? Oh, she gave us cotton. Okay. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Why? Oh my god. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Jesus. Repair it. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you could just repair it. Yeah, I'm I forgot. You could do that. that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. That's it? Nah, there's got to be more to this, right? Next task will be planting Dittany at our potting tables. Ah, you Dittany. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knotgrass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now and you can return to harvest them later even with soil sunlight and a bit of magic they will take time to grow let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement Mithla's okay. fantasy restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the select the available the seeds to As begin planting once the seeds have been class. planting the plant will take time to grow before being ready to harvest Okay, so we can't get mallow. Uh, we don't have any mallow sweet. All right, so let's go ahead and put the Dittany in. And it'll be ready in about 10 minutes or so. Plant Dittany seeds at the potting table. Okay. Well done. Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wigan Weld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. Yeah, this doesn't do sound attractive. Without something to chew, 
Unfortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Okay. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Chinese nice chomping work. cabbage. The it, rem it reminds me of. Um, Excuse me. Oh, we got mellow sweet leaves. Dope. Sebastian. It reminds me of the chain chomps. I don't know why. It just really makes me good. think of chain chomps. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well. Thank you. I nearly put Sebastian. Here we are. Home of the Chinese. Go on. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Toss the cabbages. Okay. Attack the. Okay. Hold L1 and R to open the tool and assign the chunk. Okay. Oh, this is actually pretty dope. Look at that. Oh my god. They'll chomp on anything they can get their mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some of Chinese the chomping cabbage. The Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils. Okay, I was about to attack you. Like, get out of here. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. Okay. I'll see you back in class. Yeah, we're gonna try to collect all the mallow sweet that we can because we're gonna need that for the Merlin, uh, the trials of Merlin stuff. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our okay, so we got about a good six and a half minutes for that. Terribly sorry, I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Okay, so we're done with the herbology class. We are level 10, let's go. All right, so we have one more thing to do, I believe. Wait, is that? Oh, that's Natty. Okay, so Natty's here. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out quests. So now we have the potion class. Attend the potion class, okay. Uh, we also have the cross wands round three, spell combination practice two, and Professor Hackett's assignment two. Uh, we're gonna learn Expelliarmus. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do a lot of these little side uh, little missions over here. Let's go ahead and look at the map. and let's see that's the potion class oh no 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 no! wait go back wait aren't we tracking oh okay assignment two and we should be able to go right there defense against the dark arts classroom i've always 
always said that travel broadens the mind. It feels weird because I'm coming into this uh, whole series really for the... It feels like the first time, so I don't have like the nostalgia and the whimsy. But there, there's a little bit of that that magic inside me that wishes I could do this also. Um, but I'm sure like if you grew up with all of this that you're like, oh my god, this is amazing. Because this feels authentic even though you know, I'm not big into it. All of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spell casting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Okay, so we're gonna learn Expelliarmus. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Okay, so let's go ahead and assign a new spell. Um, okay, so it's a damage spell. Disarm wands and weapons from most enemies who wield them. Also deal damage to all enemies, even if they do not carry a weapon. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Oh my, of course my controller's dying. Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus, Expelliarmus disarms wands and other weapons out of... Okay. All right, we could hit them combos. Okay, so we're done here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to the... Let's see. Let's go ahead and do the side missions with the cross wands. Go to our map. And that's where we're trying to get to. And we're going to go ahead and fast travel there right now. We should be able to handle these guys. All right, let's do the final Hello, challenge. Logan. Is the final round of cross wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Uh, let's bring on yes, Natsai. Natty. Then let's get started. Yeah, we're not gonna do solo this time. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Oh, it would have been me against four? That would have been broken. Break through red shields with damage spells like fire making spell incendio. Okay. Dang it, I hit the wrong button. Wait, what? I hit... I hit triangle. Oh, they made a crop's breakfast out of Nah, nah, we're gonna run that back. We're gonna run that back. Yeah. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Yeah, we're gonna definitely run that back. Oh, damn it. Oh. 
Double combo, all right. Oh my God, the combos. Bruh, had my man, yo, hitting that man with them Tekken combos juggling him what a victory you've won the tournament i'm just pleased to have done as well as i did and we're pleased to have such a gracious champion now to the victor goes the prize and so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment thank you it's yes. been an honor you earned it you are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Okay, so we're done with the cross wands. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the practice dummy. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Might as well do all the little side missions that we can right now. A bit more of a challenge. Ready? All right, let's do this. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. All right, let's go ahead and knock this out. So. Okay, so we need to go ahead and equip. Okay, so that. All right. Nicely done. Okay, so we're gonna do Leviosa swing, swing, swing into one, two, three. Oh, okay. I tapped it a little bit too many times. Okay, all right. Excellent form. So, wait, what? I didn't have the okay, all right. I don't think I had the cooldown. Get out of my face. All right, let's do this again. Attack? What the hell? Like, I'm sitting over there, like, tapping it, and it's, like, not going through, but we, we did it, so, yeah, that works. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Even though you won the tournament already, I'm glad to see you haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend. I mean, there's got to be more challenge to this, right? There's got to be more of a challenge to this. All right. Uh, so now let's see. What other quests do we have? Potions class. Okay, so let's go ahead and head to that right there. 
That should take us very close to the potions class. I yeah, we've never done the potions class. You can always tell the first year. Oh, okay, so we just got the flu flame for the potion class. Potions oh, is one of the this most guy. challenging okay. and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Wigan Weld. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. This guy's interesting. I like that all the professors have this, uh, these different personalities. It makes them all feel Use different. Use strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Okay, I'm you using the right. Stir your cauldron in the correct direction. Oh, this way. I'm sorry. Okay, Please be I was meticulous doing it the opposite when adding powder way. to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Hork lump juice. It reminds me of uh, A Nightmare Before Christmas when he's like making the soup and you're like he pulls out the ladle and it's just like burnt because it's acid. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, You'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Okay, so we're about to brew brew for real. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go and Gareth his Weasley. Another Weasley? Okay. Uh yeah. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single whooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Mm, sure, why I'll not? I'll the whooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Whooper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Oh God, we're gonna get in trouble. We're going to get in such trouble. Your potion should not be that. Mongrel fur. Fooper feather. That's a fooper. And take some money out of his chest. Memorandum. Date, 31st of December, 1875. From Auror Office, Borgen and Burks. 
Borgen and Burks has an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more auras to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new addition. Further instructions to follow. So this is, I just realized this is like a hundred years before anything even occurs. I did not realize that. Um, so we have everything. Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. Here's the fopper feather you wanted. Brilliant, thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Oh god, he's gonna blow up this whole place and he's just gonna get, it's gonna be on me. Proficiency in potions are two things that can be All right, be so right. we're doing the uh, Adurus potion. So let's go ahead and select that. All right, so we have about 30 seconds for this to brew. And it's gonna yield one bottle. Wait. It's literally mixing the mongrel fur right there. How do you even mix mongrel fur? Because that wasn't just like fur. It was like a whole big ass like pelt. At least that's what it looked like. So let's go ahead and pick it up. And now we add the mallow sweet. And, and brew in a... That's odd. Wait, I did that, What's right? Happening? Wait, it's not supposed to... Ah! Good job, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. From Mr. Gryffindor. Weasley did not do I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. All right, we can conjure one. We could summon one. I think uh, each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. All right, we're out. Oh, my robes are going to reap from Gareth's inspiration. All right, so we're level 11 now. We are pretty beefy right now. Let's see, let's go to our challenges. Exploration. Inventory expansion reward increased. But what are the challenges? Wait, it says something about collections, right? Cosmetic appearance uh, alterations applied to gear via the change. So where do I find this stuff though? Because I, it's not in my gear. Anyways. Let's see, what quest do we have now? We have no new quests. So I'm guessing we will eventually have to talk to Professor Wig. Maybe he will reach us. Oh, Greetings. here we go. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Okay, so we have to visit Mr. Ollivander um, over in Hogsmeade. So let's go ahead and check out Hogsmeade. Mm. 
There we go ahead and fast travel right there. This will probably, yeah, this is a story mission, so this will uh, further the plot. Ollivander's Wand Shop. Wands of, very, uh, wands of a variety of woods and all manner of flexibility, each possessing one of the three magical cores. Choose their owners in this cozy, cluttered shop run by the amiable and knowledgeable Gerbold Ollivander. And the professor of witchcraft wand craft since 382 BC, the Ollivander family are considered the best wand makers in Britain, if not the world. 382 BC. I wonder if, I wonder if Christ was a wizard. And he walked on water. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult to find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Okay, sure. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlry. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaw's. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. Of course, because it's Peeves. All right, I'll see what I can find. I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. I ah, do not like Peeves. to this old one maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. Okay, so where are we heading now? We're going back to Hogwarts. Actually, it looks like we might be going further than Hogwarts. Yeah, so we're going like over there. So let's go to the world map. Okay. Well, actually going to Hogwarts might be the fastest way. Um, all right, cool. Yeah, we could just go ahead and go straight there and then run across to that tower. All right, so this is where the Owlry is up there. Oh yeah, of course, you see all the owls running, uh, flying around over there. I was gonna say running around, they're not running. really getting up here oh man i can't wait until i get my broom the statue right, so now we're investigating must be upstairs traditional school cloak there's a bunch of owls here and poop I would love an owl as a pet. Don't mind me, owls. I'm just here to help a friend. But I oh, could never statues. feed one. Uh, I could never feed one. Akio, I recognize those handles. <laughs> Nothing. Wait, what's that? Empty perches. Could be the right size for jackdaws. Or statues of jackdaws. Oh, wait, what's this? Rebellion. 
Hogwarts Owls. School owls and owls owned by students can be found in the Hogwarts Owlry. One is advised to explore carefully, keeping an eye out for owl droppings and regurgitated mouse skeletons. Ugh, gross. Oh, wait a second. Hold on a second. Um. I'd best keep looking. Here's a welcome surprise. The statue's here. Got another Jackdaw statue. Um. Return the bird, bird sculptures to their perches. Oh wait, what's this? I'll take that. Thank you. Is there more that I missed? Oh wait. Oh, maybe we have to go up. Birds aren't afraid of height. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. Oh, hello. Alright, so we got another field guide. Are we about to fall? Nothing. This will do nicely. I'd best keep looking. Statues here. <laughs> Nothing. Now we're just ripping all this stuff out. I best keep looking. Here's a welcome surprise. No statues here. I'll take that. Thank you. Okay, Nothing. let's go ahead and fall down. Alright, so we got another... Oh, wrong button. Another jackdaw statue. I thought I saw an item down there, but I guess not. What's happening? A random tornado? What? Is that a ghost? Oh, maybe this was the assistant. It's kind of dark and morbid. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw. So Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness, I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you, I don't have it on me. I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity, but yes. Why do you care about some old wand? I don't really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show oh, you Oh, we're going to, to the Forbidden Forest now? I'll see you at if the forest. that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. Okay. So we're going to the Forbidden uh, Woods. Oh, this should be uh, lots of fun, right? 
I mean, I always like to go ahead and battle, so I'm sure we're going to meet some spiders or something. So let's go ahead and look at the map. Interesting. Maybe we're going to get a quest because new quest available. All right, so now it pops up. All right, so let's go to the Forbidden Forest. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. All right, guys, we're going to end the video here. Um, we're going to be going into the Forbidden Woods uh, in our next video. We're going to go ahead and meet Richard Jack Daw as we try to find the wand for Mr. Ollivander. And, uh, yeah, this, this, uh, video was more me just kind of getting, uh, new spells. We got, um, no, we got Expelliarmus in the last one, but we learned how to make potions. We learned a biology. And so I think we're at some point, we're going to be able to conjure up our own, uh, plants and we're not conjure up our own plants, our own pottery so that we can make plants and brew potions and so on and so forth. If you want to go ahead and... Uh, geez, I cannot talk today. If you want to support the channel, make sure to go ahead and leave a like and subscribe, guys. It definitely helps out. And I will catch you guys in the next episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Peace out.